Hello. Thanks for joining me. Day nine of Noah's bike build. Lots of planning. Well, day nine started off very early. Woke at mad o'clock. Decided to get up and decided to bring the project bike into my front room, place it on some suitable cardboard so I could visualize it easier for the next stage of the build. You can see the TV in the background, maybe even pick out other projects. I didn't have an agenda for today. I just knew that I was going to have to do a lot of thinking around the next stages. I wanted some type of racing number plate on the front. Possibly a screen a fly screen but I was aware that modern fairings have very fragile screens I don't want something that's going to break if it's accidentally knocked so that was plenty for me to think about and also the the positioning and the style of the seat I also decided to strip the front end completely investigate taking a couple of inches off the fork tubes and during this task I thought I might as well highlight any issues about the best way to build it or tools needed or whatever and write a little handbook to go with the bike when I pass it on to my son and eventually my grandson It is a one-off, there'll be no reference for the frame, so I might as well create one. The bike has pretty much gone together straightforward, but there are techniques that are useful to know. Certainly any photos of pieces of equipment on the bike will be useful for if you were to strip it and then wonder how it went back together there was there was an element of wonder how the forks would be attached to the lower fork legs there's no springs or oil inside these. They use the balloon tyres for the suspension. It's very cleverly designed and it was either a case of 
chopping it off the bottom the couple of inches I wanted to reduce in length or chop it off the top and when I saw how the bottom legs were attached to the chrome tubes I decided I would take it off the top I wasn't going to take too much off because I want to future proof this whoever owns it in the future well it'll be my son on behalf of my grandson they may want to alter it as my grandson grows so having a little bit of stick through on the top yoke it's what the racers do anyway but it's future proof in the design in this instance so stripping it making notes evolving a procedure what's best to do in future saw me take a couple of inches off the top put it back together and then approach this design for a seat and front number plate I was going to use perspex I had which was quite thick and certainly won't shatter if it's knocked slightly it's high spec probably over engineered but I'd rather have that than a fragile machine it's a plaything after all there was a slight curve in the piece of perspex I had and that cried out to become a fly screen if you were to have a look at Manx Norton's they had a round or oval num front number plate and a small fry fly screen atop the number plate so that's the style I was going to adopt I'd show you my design but the paint's drying on the number plate so I'll save that for another session I'm quite pleased with it so hopefully anybody watching this will appreciate it as well it gave me chance to check the clip-on's position the actual clearance and it turns out that I wasn't going to need to shorten the top tube the down tube it was going to come in handy as stops for the forks right and left lock to avoid you banging your hand on the tank or top tube and it was also going to be a mounting place for this number plate and fly screen so funny how it works out eh and then in the back of my mind I thought there's room for further drilling should you ever want to create a longer wheelbase machine it's never going to be a sprinter but there is an inch inch and a half possibly what you could increase the overall length of the bike should you 
choose to. So that'll do me a reason to keep it as it is. More pamphlets written, instructions, simple as they are, but necessary. That's it for now. It's late afternoon, after a very early rise and a long, long cold day in and out of the carriage. I'll wrap it up and say thanks for joining me. Join me again soon for episode 10. <laughs> thanks for watching.